Hi there and welcome to the Ricky Speed Show where today our topic will be daycare centres. Now over the past few years there have been a lot of controversy surrounding parents who leave their child in daycare. Recently there have been more and more studies on how it can affect your child. I'm here today with Lizzie and Kyle who after much consideration put their daughter Little Holly into daycare. So you have put Little Holly into daycare? Yes that's right. What made you come to this decision? Well Kyle needed to go back to work full time and I needed to work because we needed the money so we didn't have any choice really. Did you speak to anyone who already put their child into daycare? Uh, yeah, we spoke to some friends who put their child into daycare. And how did they find it? Well, they said it brought Josh out of his shell. Have you found this with Holly? No, Holly has been a pain ever since. She's become very badly behaved. So you wouldn't recommend daycare? Not unless it's extremely necessary. She's been there for like eight months, and I feel like she can't write her name yet, and her IQ seems to have lowered so much. To gain more insight into this, we have our interviewer Liam waiting with a team of psychologists. We're going to explain in detail the pros and cons of daycare centres. Over to you, Liam. Thank you, Ricky. Here I am with some of the top psychologists in the daycare area, experts on how putting your child into daycare affects their development. First of all, I'm going to introduce Corin Carey, Belsky and Haw. Corin Carey, can you give us a quick summary of your research? Yes, I can. Uh, me and my team wants to find out the effect of the mother's attachment type on the child being put into daycare. I used 76 mothers in my study, which had an average age of around 27 years old. In my study I found that insecure parents are more likely to put their child into daycare. That's very interesting. Belsky? Well, I've been looking into a lot simpler study of the effects of younger children in daycare. Um, in most cases I actually found out that uh, aggression levels have risen dramatically. And finally, how what did your study involve? Actually, you're both wrong. It's how happy the mother is that affects the child's development. So if the mother is happy going to work, then the child won't be affected by daycare. So mum should consider their own wishes. And I'm just hearing we have another psychologist on the phone now. Speaker, would you like to have your say? Actually, I feel that a high quality daycare is important. A high staff to child ratio, a stimulating environment, highly qualified staff and a low turnover of staff will increase social, cognitive and emotional behaviour in our children. Thank you, and back over to Ricky. Thank you, Leo. I'm here with our studio audience now to find out their opinion on daycare centres. First of all, what's your opinion on daycare centres? Well, uh, all those people that say that they have to put the child into daycare because they need to go to jobs. Daycare is so expensive that they could just stay home, really. Thank you. Would anybody disagree with Claire's view? I believe myself that sometimes people just don't have a choice in what they have to do and they just have no other option. Thank you. Does anybody else have an opinion on daycare centres? I just think both of you are incorrect. I mean, any parent that wishes to put their child in daycare shouldn't be classed as a parent. Thank you. Thank you once again to Lizzie and Kyle, to Liam and our psychologists, to our studio audience and thanks to you watching at home. This has been the Ricky Speed Show.